All right, with this video, we're going to talk about transferring these back from radical form to exponential form. And when we transfer them back to an exponential form, it's going to be written as a fractional exponent. So here we have one, and we've got this is the fifth root of x cubed. And this one, we are going to rewrite this one in exponential form, which means that we're going to write it so it has an x here, and then it's going to be a fraction here. We're going to have something on the top and on the bottom. Well, let's talk about what goes on top and what goes on bottom. So I have this 5 out here, this fifth root, this 5 way out here in front. What this 5 does is that comes around and goes on bottom. So that 5 stays on bottom. This 3 here, 3 right here, will end up going on top. Okay. So it doesn't sound too complicated. Just remember that whatever the 5 is, the one that's out in front here, this root, this is the fifth root, that one will go on bottom. Whatever's on the inside will go on top. So let's look at a couple other examples here. So I've got this one here. Now remember that this, this is a cube root. So this cube root here is going to end up being on bottom. The 2 will go on top. This would be y to the 2 thirds power. And these are written as an exponent here. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit large, but these are actually an exponent, so just keep that in mind. Let's look at another example. Now, this one, we've got the 3 we know goes on bottom because it's real similar to the one that we just did. However, what is the exponent right here? This b right here has an exponent. It's not listed. And when it's not written here, this exponent, it's indicated that it is a 1. So this is going to turn out to be b to the 1 3rd power. All right, same thing. We still had this 3 that went on bottom here, and then this 1 right here goes on top. So let's look at another one here, and this one just is the square root of g. So this one's similar. We know that this one's a 1 because we just did it just like this one. However, right here we have to determine what this number is that's out in front here. This is a square root. And you think of something squared, there's a 2 there. Well, in mathematics, we don't like to write it all the time because it just takes too long. So what we do know, though, is that right here is a 2. It's invisible, but there is a 2 here. So when we rewrite this one in exponential form, it will be the 2 goes on bottom and the 1 goes on top. This will be g to the 1 half power. 